In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some tips for customizing your PowerDirector workspace. This allows you to take the major panels of PowerDirector and move them around. Why would you do that? Well, you might want to mimic another NLE editor that you like and move the panels where they fit. Or you might just like to experiment and find something that works better with your editing style or your workflow. I have the general default here where we have the previous screen in the upper right, we have the timeline at the bottom, and then we have our library room, which can contain everything from media to special effects to titles to particles on the upper left panel. What would it be like if I were to move some of these things around? What I'm going to do first of all is activate another panel that you normally don't see on the default. I'm going to click on the view and click on the one that says Show Library Preview Window. Now, Basically, this shows anything you have highlighted in your library area. It could be a special effect, it could be a title, it could be, like in this case, an actual video. So let's assume I want to move all these around and change the look and feel to fit. Now, when it comes to either the Library Preview or the General Preview, the Timeline Preview, I'll call it, you have the option of clicking on the icon at the lower right. It's the box with the arrow pointing to the upper right. It says Undock. So I click on that. It will take it and it will undock that unit. And so I can move it around anywhere I want. I can resize it to some degree. The resizing is limited. It does have a minimum. And position it exactly where I want it on the screen. So if I wanted that there, that would be the place where I would see the preview of anything that's in my library room. Same thing for my general preview screen. I'll click on this and undock it. And now I can take this and move it and reposition it anywhere I like. So that gives me an option of doing all those things. Now, if we're working on your entire desktop, it's really nice. I'm recording on a smaller scale, so it's a little bit more awkward. We can't do that so much with either the timeline or with the library. Now, I'm going to minimize these completely by clicking on the little icon, the, the flat line, the third one from the right in the upper right corner, and it makes it disappear. I'll tell you where it goes in a moment, but we'll make these disappear. And now I have my timeline and I have my library area, but I don't see that little icon. All I need to do is be in the area I want to affect, right click on it, and choose Dock Undock. It's content sensitive. It says Library Window here. So now my library area is undocked. And then I'll right click on the timeline someplace and choose Dock Undock Timeline Window. And now that is changed. So now I can take these and move them around. If I want my content, to be on the lower right rather than the upper left. I can do that. I can change my timeline itself and adjust it here. Let's assume I want to do something with the other two windows. But where did they go? I don't see them. How do I get them back? If you click up next to your name, you're going to see some boxes. And these will appear whenever you have a window that's been totally minimized. I click on this and now it tells me these are the two windows that are minimized. Let's take the Timeline Preview. And I'm going to take this and move this. Maybe I'd like to try working with it on the left side. Let's click on the other one and take the Library Preview. Now you can leave these totally minimized all you want. It doesn't matter. Now there's a certain size I can shrink this to, but you see it won't go smaller than that. So that's my limitation. So I'll take this and move this around and move this over a bit. And that gives me the best balance of everything I have. Again, you can tweak these. Now, once you're working like this in your project, it will stay this way. If I close the project down and open a new project, when I open the new project, it's going to take the same look and feel. So it's independent of the projects and it remembers what it was the last time you used PowerDirector. So if you get a style that you like, all you have to do is not touch the windows and they'll stay the same no matter what project you happen to be editing. Now, what happens if I want to go back to the original? That's very easy to do. 
All I need to do is I would recommend using the timeline because you're almost always going to have the timeline available is you right click anywhere in the timeline and then you choose the reset all undocked windows option. I'll do that. And it will go back to my default for PowerDirector. If I want to make this window disappear, which we don't start with, I'll click on the X and the space will be taken over by my timeline preview, which is my default. So that's a way in which you can take your workspace available to you in PowerDirector and customize it to fit something you like or something you'd like to experiment with.